get the Twitch app going? All right, there we go. Okay, let me get the chat going. All right, well, good to go. Well, uh, good morning. Uh, once again, I decided to go ahead and play Torchlight 2, just like uh, yesterday. Uh, playing the game on my Berserker. <laughs> Did he just pick his nose and eat the boogers? <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, wait. I want to. I want to. Oh, okay. You did that. Never mind. But playing on my berserker here, new game plus, uh, level forty-six, <clears throat> and um, I'll explain. Uh. I'll explain today, just like I did yesterday. I do use console cheats. <clears throat> but mostly what I use it for is, uh, is for uh, getting gold and uh, stat enchanters and sock socket enchanters. Um, that's what I mostly use it for. Uh, I hardly use it for anything else. And um, also, uh, keep in mind that uh, my this is not this is not my main game. This is just um. This is just a game I want to play when I want mindless fun. And so cheats kind of help out in that. I'm also, uh, usually my, uh, my other default, my, excuse me, my other alternative game is Pinball Arcade. But I'm so burned out from playing that game so much that I can't, very rarely am I going to be able to go back to playing it. So it's going to be this one now. This is a game I don't, I don't take 100% seriously, unlike Path of Exile. I find, to me, I have no compunctions about using cheats on it. Um, but, uh, you keep, in a, you keep in mind, too, in a Path of Exile, I play, uh, solo self-found hardcore. Okay, that, to me, that's probably the hardest mode to play in, because you can't trade for anything, you can't party up with anybody. Everything you get, you, can, you have to get by yourself. So, it's hard-earned gear in that game. Or in that mode, excuse me. So, so that, that that's just a that's, that's just a quiet my critics. You know, and a filthy cheater. Yeah, well, yeah, well, this is all supposed to be a fun game, but I'll 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 cut it off at that. I guess I can show what I got. Where's my stats? Pooch. Yeah, his gear could use some upgrading. Um, here's this if you're interested. hours? Didn't think I was on it that long. My main skills is, uh, <clears throat> I mean, got my basic attack, but, uh, Savage Rush. And yeah, Savage Rush. Shadow Burst, that's my main teleport move. Uh, eviscerate. And Battle Rage. And 
this here was, for the most part, a bad call. I don't think I have any cold damage, so this is kind of a waste. I also try to uh, run in maps for the first time too. Oh, and. Oh, shoot, I still gotta dump off my stuff. This is gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to switch my A, or fix my AI real quick. UI, excuse me, if I can find it. We'll try 80%. Okay, now it's two, there we go. Much better. being one of the rare exceptions for um I only use the gold cheat just enough gold for what I need to do. I don't I don't use nine 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 gold or anything like that. Sure don't get much money out of these. Whoa, oh, oh. That's a side item. Damn dog's got way more health than me. Hmm. And this is also another reason why I cheat. Why I cheat in this game. That's it. I get no. Okay. So I get you get one stash. You get one shared stash. I'm eating donuts too, so. This one here, this one here, I just, um, I cheated too much gold, so. I don't. Okay. 
I don't think you can do this. Use a negative number. Yep, you can do it. Okay, so now I'm back down to 309. I'll have to remember that. But, like I said earlier, I don't... I don't just, uh, type nines across the board for gold. I just... I only cheat enough gold for what I need. So, it's good to know. Checking the uh, volume levels right now. Oh, damn. Got our wire. One reason I can't stand wearing headphones. Fucking wires give me problems. Map I'm running. If you can read that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know of a way to uh, add in maps, but this is like a level 45 to level 50 map. I'm not even sure there's a way to actually end these maps either.
sound levels work, so I'll just go ahead and take the headphones off. I'd like to think that guy over there is a map boss.
looks like our wedding boss. Presumably. Oh, game lag for a moment. Yup. Mainly what I'm focusing on is uh, Battle Rage and Savage Rush. And if these can't be leveled up, then I'll just level up one of the passives. <laughs> 100, 500. What the hell is that? Fire damage.
Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe if I can uh, last just long enough to get some gear that's around 66 to 75.
Oh! You have perished. Go. Oh, hey, goat. Um, um, it's actually um more reminiscent of of Diablo 2 than anything. Cause uh, uh, if you ever played an old game called Fate, it was uh, another Diablo 2 clone except more cartoony, more kid friendly. This game here, Torchlight, it's kind of the same thing. I mainly got this one cause uh. Unlike most other games, you can play this game offline, which which comes in handy like when my internet goes out or my cable company decides to do sudden maintenance and not tell me about it or anything like that. 
uh, but I mean, you can uh, every time you level up, you get a skill point, you can spend on one of these, that kind of thing, and you get attribute points every, or you get five attribute points at a level, and you can level these up. This, this is pretty much what I play now, when I'm, um, when I'm switching off from Path of Exile. I've tried to play a pinball arcade, but I'm so burnt out, I'm playing that game so much, it's hard for me to get back into it. goes on and it starts to lag my game. But also, I'm not I'm not playing hardcore mode in this game, so in here, if you die you get um you get three options. You can um, resurrect right on the spot, but you have to pay a bunch of gold in order to do it. You can also resurrect at the uh, dungeon entrance, and you don't have to pay as you still have to pay gold, but not as much. Or you can um, you can resurrect in town and not have to pay anything at all. Yup, like I said, um, they're heavily influenced by Diablo 2 when it comes to the music. Lots of, uh, lots of Tristram acoustic guitars type, type stuff. Plus, uh, this game is, uh, it's fairly cheap to buy, too. I think I paid, like, 20 bucks for it, and, um, they had a sale on Steam where you could buy it for, like, 5 bucks. So, whoops. Not as good as Path of Exile, though. That game is totally free. They mostly make their money on, um, microtransactions. doing right now is basically the their version of uh, maps 
Kind of like what Path of Exile has when you get to the end game. I do plan on uh, I do plan on doing the storyline, but I want to see what I can get in here first. And uh, also, like Diablo 2, this game has its own version of like normal nightmare and hell mode. They have a uh, new game plus, new game plus plus, and I think they have a uh, new game plus plus plus. You're just playing the storyline over again, those those additional times. I'd have, have to sell that. And um, I suppose I should probably also mention too, I do use I do use console cheats in this game. Um, but mostly I use it for uh, adding gold and uh, adding gold and recently subtracting it. But like if I want to go type money. It now gives me a uh, thirty thousand gold, but the way I do it, I only I only cheat enough gold to buy what I need. That's all. You can also very easily go money minus. And you lose all that gold. So I do I do try to be somewhat fair with it. And um uh, I'll also use it. I'll summon what are called enchanters. One of which allows you to put up uh, attribute stats on your gear. If you can see the um the light green colored stats where it says enchantments three. Yeah. Yeah, that's like I said, that's pretty much the biggest reason why I do it. Um but unlike Diablo 2, in Diablo 2 I had to download a character editor, like a third-party program, in order to tweak my characters on it. But in this game here, it's um the the cheats are in the game itself. All you gotta do is go on up, you go on the configuration notepad inside the game file itself, and you have to there's like a there's like an option that says console equals zero. You just gotta change that number to one. That's all. So. And plus, uh, from what I understand, this game is way more heavily modified than on Diablo 2. Diablo 2, I think it had like, I think it had like two different mods. One was called Median XL. I think the other one was called Dark Sun. They're basically two different games. Whereas uh, Torchlight here is supposed to have a whole ton of different types of uh, game mods. So it's less frowned upon. It's less frowned upon in this game than it is in, like, Diablo 2. Because back when I was playing that game, I was, like, a 
I would upload videos and I'd, you know, let everybody know, hey, I use a hero editor, you know, don't like it, at least understand it, you know, that kind of thing. And from time to time, I still get comments like, filthy cheater. Oh, how lame, and, you know, stuff like that. You know, and, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and the equipment they totally traded for, it wasn't duped or anything, so. Okay, boss battle here. I guess I should be able to do this now. Not here. Okay, let me go back up. There we go. You can't, um, you can't do town portals in this game, but unlike Path of Exile, these stay up permanently. In Path of Exile, the uh, portals would disappear uh, between 8 to 15 minutes. Whatever that particular area you're in would reset. You lose your, you lose your town portal, not in this game. But, uh, this game, kind of like every other game, you can only have one town portal up at a time. Here's see a uh, path of exile kind of has kind of has this too. You can um uh, once you reach the end game, you can um uh, buy various maps, and they have various uh buffs and debuffs and whatnot. Um, the way the way I'm guessing the way this works, the more buffs you have, the more expensive the map is. The more buffs monsters have, the cheaper the map is. Yeah, like this one here, all the monsters have 10% more damage, 15% more poison damage, blah, 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 blah. You can tell there, the map is totally free to buy. That's an, that'd be an interesting mechanic right there. 25% chance to cast random teleport when you get hit. Meaning, when you get hit, you'll, you'll get moved over some random location. Like hyperspace and asteroids. You know, then like this one here. Uh, skills are 25% cheaper, plus you get 25% more gold. So, you gotta pay almost uh, two grand for that map. Kind of the same thing there. It's a little pricey, 900. This one's here is cheaper because uh, monsters do more electric damage and etc. etc. But uh, Path of Exile has this map system too. But uh, unless uh, unless I haven't progressed to that point yet, you can't craft your own maps in this game like you can in Path of Exile. That's probably one of the reasons why I like that. Why why I play Path of Exile. If and when I ever get to the end game, it, that's gonna be a lot more versatile than say Diablo 3, where you're just basically you're running running arcade riffs is what you're doing. Yeah, you know, not much there. Oh, and uh, I should probably mention too. This is another reason, like Diablo 2. This is one of the reasons why I cheat in this game. Here's your stash. That's it. One page for your own. And then you have one shared stash. So that doesn't give me much space to work with, whereas uh, in Path of Exile, you start out with like four huge pages of stash space and you, you can always buy more. Can't do that in here. 
Diablo 2 was the same issue. I mean, all you had in that game was just one single page of stash base, and that's it. I mean, I was almost forced to put a best in slot gear and every every equipment slot just because I ain't gonna have space for the upgrades and the, any upgrades I come across. I won't have any space in the stash. And uh, some items, if you can see by the uh, red text, my class is a berserker. I have to be only engineer, only an engineer would be able to wear that. And that one, so if I started coming across uh, all these items that can only be equipped by other classes, shared stash is gonna fill up quick. In order to empty this space, I would be forced to create an engineer class progressing the game far enough to where he can get a stash and then have to start shuttling all that gear over into his so it then it just starts becoming more like World of Warcraft you know in that game you're only allowed uh, two professions two crafting professions so if I wanted to say create a chess piece I'd have to go on one character that can actually mine the materials needed to make it. Then I have to take all those materials, transfer them over to this character over here. You know, he's a blacksmith, but he can't mine his own stuff, so I gotta set him all over there so he can make make the gear. But uh, he can't craft sockets, or he can't put enchantments on, so I gotta send all that equipment over to this character over here so he can put the sockets slash enchantments on it. And it just, it's a logistical nightmare is what it is. Oh, another reason why I cheat. Being able to make sort of kind of, sort of kind of best in slot equipment, spares, it cuts out a whole lot of the process. this up and coming boss battle if I die here I'm just gonna go ahead and head back into town and I'll just continue on with the storyline I killed him. There's still ads out here I have to take out though. I wasn't expecting to get past the main boss, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, resurrect at the entrance. But uh, if this resets the battle, then uh, I'm just okay. Good. So it doesn't start the battle completely over then.
Get it. These are, uh, caster gloves. Definitely don't need the extra cast speed. Or the mana. So they're getting sold. No, no, not that one. Not that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the story. And um, also, just like uh, just like Fate, it's a Diablo 2 clone back in the 90s, you can also fish. Usually what you get is a uh, frenzy fish. It's a, uh, you feed to your dog or you feed to your pet, whichever companion you have. I usually don't, I usually don't feed anything to them because a lot of these only last like five minutes. 15 minutes at the most. There's pro, there's probably bigger. There's probably bigger, but I have, I probably have to progress way in the game in order to get them. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm supposed to be at this one? No, I'm not supposed to be there yet. Can't get over there because of the little tiny gap between here and the bridge. need that. Probably not going to need that. And since I've been uh, 
I've been noticing I'm seeing uh, monsters shatter into, into a bunch of uh, icy pieces after I'm killing them. I'll go and throw and that, see what that does. In this game here, you can, um, if you, um, if you put a point in, or if you want a refund on your points, you can do it, but you gotta pay money for it. And you can only do it on the, the, the three skills that you most recently leveled. See how much uh, gold damage I'm doing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There it is. Ice damage. So, 141 to 202. So yeah, I guess I can start off uh, leveling these up now too then. Coming boss battle. Guess I can't do it. Uh, in boss battles, you can't, you cannot set up town portals.
go. First one's free. No. I'm a dog, you that. Some bang me hard. Um.
I can't go down there because of a little tiny gap right here. One thing you can also do in this game, you can uh, send stuff to your companion and he'll go back into town and sell it for you. And he also has a shopping list, so if you need a uh, Need, like in my case, identify scrolls. You can have him pick them up when he's in town. Your own personal shopper. It takes them, uh, unless I'm wrong, the longer, it takes them uh, at most two minutes to come back. items as your pet pick them up. Can't do it. I was gonna try to put my basic attack on my uh, right mouse button, but apparently it don't work that way.
looks like I'm gonna have to cheat some more sockets in. That's definitely a keeper. tip was good to know. And this battle here is going to be uh, very similar to the one that I died like twice in. It's, uh, the one I did when uh, running that map. I don't know if you remember. You'll, you'll see when I get there. I'm glad you came along. 
We arrived just as the alchemist was subduing the garden, but he caught us by surprise. We couldn't stop him. Grell and his raiders arrived shortly after the alchemist left. They've been trying to get in here and loot this place for years. The alchemist's attack finally gave them the opening they needed. Apparently things have gone from bad to worse while we were at the wellspring. Whatever was making the Asterian sick is spreading, and it's moved out into the lands north. That's where the Grand Regent was headed. He's already reached the watch room. He'll have sealed the gates as a precaution, which means that the whole temple could be turning into one big plague zone even as we speak. Yeah, we're grabbing that. This plague seems to specifically target beings of an inherently magical nature, such as the Aetherians. The Guardians. So far it's not affecting humans, so I've sent for a transport to bring you some medical supplies, and I'll be coordinating the medical relief here. Meanwhile, you need to get out to the Watchwheel Temple. Take Crow's Past. You have a new quest. Yeah, that's here. Yes. Sentinel's, uh, cast, caster gear. I thought it was... This might have been what I was looking at here. Iron Lord.
This guy transmutes stuff. Like what I'm about to do here. Fortune smiles upon you. Welcome to the stream, but welcome. To, excuse me. Welcome to the stream, Immortal. Um, yep. Um, basically, new game plus. If you ever played Diablo 2, um, all this is basically each everything just um, shifts over into nightmare mode, and then when you complete the game in new game plus, you can play on new game plus plus, which is basically hell mode. And, um, I think if you complete the game in, in that mode, you can, um, shift up to New Game Plus Plus Plus, which is, um, which is probably, um, the equivalent of Infernal in, uh, Diablo 3. And if you could, and if you could see here, once you complete the game for the first time, uh, just like Path of Exile, if you've ever played it, you have the option to enter this area and you can purchase maps which are basically instance dungeons each one has various uh, buffs, debuffs and whatnot new game plus, new game plus. yep uh, when, you, when you complete the game on normal you have the option to restart to restart the game at New Game Plus, and then if you complete it, if you complete it in that mode, you can restart it again in New Game Plus Plus. But um, when you go into New Game Plus, um, all of the monsters start from uh, for, I think uh, from the very first quest, all the monsters start at level 51, and then they they work their way up from there. I don't know what uh I don't know what the levels start at at New Game Plus Plus though. Um uh, hundred mm, kind of a guess. But yeah, you, you keep all your items, you keep all your stats and everything. The only difference is the monsters level up big time. Whereas when you play the game when you play the game for the first time it it starts at level one. But when you complete that game 
and you can go to New Game Plus. All the monster level begin monster levels, excuse me, begin at level 51 and 52, and then it just works up from there. So I'm guessing New Game Plus Plus it probably starts at 101 and 102. But it pretty much works the same way it does in Diablo. It had three difficulty levels, Normal, Nightmare, and Health. Welcome to the stream, guys, uh, if I didn't say so already. slipped. I gotta readjust it. One moment. Have you guys played this game before? Find a, let me find a safe spot real quick. Oh, I am going to be able to do Not a native English speaker. Okay, that's cool. level 60 you you probably would have you'll probably out level new game plus by about 10 levels
Oh, so you go from way back then. Yeah, I've never even played the first one. I just started playing this one recently. I just burn out from playing a uh, pinball arcade so much. Just need something else to play. I know is, um, yeah, I'd probably, I want to say both, I mean, if you can, um, if you can leech a ton of life, or if you can leech more life than the damage you're taking, then, um, then yeah, leech life, but, um, but, uh, personally, I'm more of a, I'm more of a damage reduction, life leech, um, Life regen. I'm more into that. I mean, I also come from playing up. Uh, I come from playing World of Warcraft and uh, all those other games too. Where um, have, I mean, having a uh, having high health is actually a bad thing because I mean, if if the mo, I mean, if, if you got 10,000 health, but if monsters that are dealing that much damage, it ain't gonna you know ain't gonna matter much. So you need some uh, you need some defense and mitigation in there too. Uh, in this game here, I go through a lot of potions, though. So. 
think I have I think I have some life leech, but uh I'm kind of uh kinda of under leveled for the area I'm at, so Yeah, and, um, in Path of Exile, I'm starting to learn that, too. You actually want a decent amount of life as well, because, um, in Act 5, I'm, I'm at the point where, uh, monsters can take, monsters can take off almost all my health, or at least the, uh, Averius fight. Um, the one where he summons big, huge statues. I mean, one hit takes off, uh, almost three-fourths of my whole, my whole health. longest time though I was uh life was at the bottom of the priority list usually I was uh I was stacking uh life leech life regen and stuff like that greetings traveler can you assist me I, I was planning to enter the you have received a quest I'm starting to level this up now. I can uh, I can deal cold damage you now. For the longest time that never used to be the case.
Just, uh, I'm checking the volume levels right now. Okay. It's gonna be a boss battle right off the bat in here, if I remember correctly. As far as, uh, as far as items go, I definitely want claws, uh, dual ability claws for this guy. Uh, for the, for the brief period of time that I played an engineer, I was, uh, I was a sword and board, sword and board fighter. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much how I do it. Um, just whichever has better stats. Um, I noticed in this game here, unlike uh, unlike Diablo three or Diablo three, Diablo two, you actually need a fairly fairly good balance here. I mean, focus is supposed to be a supposed to be a caster stat, but uh, it's also got a execute chance, which Berserker uses. job works as ex executioner here so but um but yeah I did Mo mostly I just uh, strike a balance um I guess I can go back to the skill tree here I'm here because I find uh I find nearly all the passives to be useful in some way. So usually I'll just uh, balance those out. And uh, now that I can deal ice damage, I started leveling this up too. And I was up. Uh, I just leveled this one up to where, to 
where a minimum time between attacks was, um, excuse me, one second. I just went ahead and added an additional point to it just to be on the safe side. Because if you read the tooltip, individual targets can only be hit once per second at most. So trying to level this up beyond one second is pretty much a waste. I only added that extra point in there just, just to be on the safe side. Like in case my attacks are slowed down for whatever reason. Yeah, no kidding. But, like I said before, um, in this game here, it's actually a good idea to have a have a balance in your stats because they're all useful in some way. Hell, thinking of Diablo 2, all vitality was was just a straight up um, was just straight up life bonus. And here, it um, uh, it also increases your armor as well. Focus, like I said earlier, increase your uh, execute chance, which interacts with executioner. And dexterity, I mean, affects your, affects your crit rate, but also uh, affects your dodge chance as well. I think uh, Diablo 2, the only thing that it affected was uh, your accuracy and your. They can affect your defense too, but not as much as a straight up armor could. And then strength affected uh, weapon damage and uh, how much crit damage you do. Think uh, Diablo 2, possibly Diablo 3 as well. I think it was just straight double damage. That was it.
Gold bombs. Clear this area up first. Yeah, I I had him in aggressive stance. Uh, the problem is, is I don't. I'm trying to avoid pulling whole rooms. Having him on aggressive means he's got this habit of running way ahead of me and start attacking stuff. I want him kept close to me. thing I can think of is hang on. I think I can think of it starting here and then taking a big scenic route all the way around. I'm hoping that's what it is. That's 
what it was. There's a lot of TNT bombs in here. And those guys you gotta kill quick. Gonna keep running around doing this until everything is manageable. I'm gonna start to play torch when I thought that minutes were the worst enemy in the game. Yup. Yeah, they take you by surprise. Good to know. Hey, in case I didn't say earlier, this is my first time playing this game, and um, I should probably go ahead and mention too, I do use uh, console cheats on here, but uh, I don't go overboard with it. Usually when I do it, I only do it to either make mo either either money um, or Two enchanters, one that boosts your stats, one that uh, gives you sockets. 
But uh, this game here, this isn't this isn't my main game right here. This is my switch off game, or this is my mindless fun game. No, uh, uh, Path of Exile. Path of Exile is my main game, and I play solo self found hardcore. So this is the game I play when I want to take when I want to take a break from Path of Exile. After the stuff I've been through on there, God, I need it. Um, trying to think what else. But it used to be my sidearm game was a uh, pinball arcade, but I got so burnt out from playing that game so much. I can't touch it anymore. So that's where, um, if you can see all the uh, stat bonuses and stuff. But I guess, um, if you've, uh, if you've been noticing recently, watch my health just drop down to almost nothing so it's, it's almost like I'm right at the level for the content I'm doing okay oh good call Usually I'll boost up my lowest stat. You could have four sockets in here? I didn't know that. I thought the most you could have was two.
run those over there. seeing any uh, legendary items so far. I'll come across unique ones from time to time. Though. Usually I'll have my dog pick up the uh, white and green items. I keep uh, gems and everything else for myself. But a few of them slip through. damage. Yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade this one. It's kind of lagging behind there.
Yup. And too bad the only stock I got left is uh, too low of a level for it. go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, someone's hitting me over there. These are just uh, bonus items over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I more so because um, I hardly wear my earphones, so I don't. I really can't hear. I can't hear him go. It's a trap or anything like that. Mainly because uh, it's quiet from my end, so it's easier for me to concentrate. Plus, uh, a lot of the music and sound effects and whatnot gets very repetitious. It just it drives me up a wall after a while. So it's nice to have it quiet. Now, if I'm uh, if I'm playing Path of Exile, however, more often than not, I'll have vinyl records going. But that stuff I like listening to. Yeah, and the, um, the, the poison chest trap, it poisons you for like a full minute. If I get hit with that, I basically just, just stand still and do nothing for like, for like 60 seconds. The, your, uh, armor and your damage drops by like, I think it's like either a third or 66%. And that doesn't mean I'm going to be taking a lot of damage.
gonna try to run to that star up there. I'm gonna try skipping most of this though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to abandon that. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. So, after I get all my logistical stuff taken care of, I'm gonna have to shut it down. Cause uh, I still have to eat breakfast. Plus, I have uh, I have my annual fire inspection. So, I gotta get ready for him. He's gonna be coming into my apartment. He's gonna check and make sure that uh, my apartment is clean enough and it's not a major fire hazard or anything. So I have to get ready for it. Um, plus I still have errands I have to run this morning too, so. Um, yeah, I'm holding on to that one. Hi, Rich. Plus 37. Well, I'm holding on to this one. Are you, uh, are you in Russia then? Or Soviet Union or whichever you guys call it? Yeah, that is, that's a big time difference.
go ahead and transmute this one as well. It, nothing really impressive about it. jam out here. Guess I'll hold on to that. And hit the map works. weapons, I pretty much have to have those in there, the uh, extra chance to execute. And the, the deal, the blood ember I have in one of my weapons, I don't need it, but uh, it, it's better than a lot of the other stuff I got. Plus, for me to, In order to put, uh, in order to put any uh, other gems in there, I basically have to destroy both of them. I can't just, uh, I can't just get rid of one of them. One of them, it has to be both of them. At least that's how I'm understanding it. And um. In case I didn't mention it earlier, this is another reason why I use uh, why I use console cheats. There's my stash space. Like, that's it. And it's got shared stash, but uh, in order for me to keep it clean, I would actually have to create other classes in order to start distributing all these all these gears that I either can or won't use and send them their way. Which creates too much of a logistical nightmare. The Hyridge set is definitely a keeper though. I can't, I can't use maces, but nevertheless, it's got some good mods on it, so I'm keeping it even though I really can't do anything with it. Definitely don't want to throw it away. And then this one here, it's got way better stats than this here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and create a cheated item. with this. Now the way I do this underscore stats and that creates a um, Boris the Stout. K right now. Yeah, 
I'll just go ahead and summon them anyway. I only need one more socket, so I shouldn't have to cheat in any more money. And then you type in Enchanter Socketer with an underscore between the words. Ta da! He appears and then. Whoop. Wrong button. And then I can just um I can just go ahead and leave the gold the way it is. Or actually Now that I know that I can use negative numbers for um determining how much money I want, I'll go ahead and flush my gold supply by doing this money negative and now I'm at zero the item but keep the gems I'm back to my stash See if there's a. I think I had a red gem in there too. Yeah, that is. 41 health recovery, so I'll go ahead and put that in there instead. gonna do it for me um like I said uh, like I said a little bit ago um I'm gonna have to go ahead and shut it down I gotta eat breakfast and I got I got people coming into my apartment to take a look at it so I gotta get ready for them and I still got and I still got some errand running uh, to do later on today too so but thank but thanks a lot of Martel and uh, everybody else for swinging by I uh, appreciate it and I should be on, I should be on, I, I don't know what the time difference is going to be, but I should be on roughly 6.30 p.m. my time. So that would mean I'm, I'm guessing uh, Immortal, in your time, that would be uh, around 4.30 a.m. If, if I'm guessing correctly. Good at that. Uh, I'm out of here. 
Um, see, take care, and I see you guys. See you guys next time. <laughs>